Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Cashbox. Today I have a very unique problem. Uh, this 2011 Toyota Corolla AC is not working. Uh, this car has a clutchless compressor, means this compressor and clutch spin all the time, so you really can't tell if the clutch is engaging or not. Uh, there is no <clears throat> relay in the fuse box to tell you to swap or check the relay. Uh, everything else is working fine. I press the AC button. Um, AC seems to be working, but it, the compressor is just not pumping the AC. And also, this fan, it won't work. So it turns out, after a long investigation, that on the compressor there is a sensor called flow sensor this is embedded into this right there this is embedded into the compressor this is something dealer don't sell it separately but you may get it uh, aftermarket amazon or something like that to wait i can show you how you can test it so here's i am in the car let's start the car start as you can see AC press it's on the core side and let me show you in the engine bay that this fan is not coming on okay so this is what I'm gonna do I have a magnet I'm gonna place this magnet on this sensor and this is going to engage and you will see the fan will come on there you go you see that i touch the magnet and the fan will come on now ac should be ac start pumping this fan will be spinning as long as you don't turn off the car once you turn off the car, AC will stop. So let's go ahead and get this sensor to place. I'm gonna spray some WD-40 to remove the, the lock. The room is very tight, so I'm gonna find my way to make it to work. Need to unplug the connector first. There you go. Looks like it's coming off. Here you go. Connector is off. Now just need to remove this C clip and As you can see, I just uh, knock it off. So at least I can put a new sensor in. And uh, here's the uh, new sensor. I got this from Amazon. It's about $25. Let's go ahead and start it and let's see if it works. All right, so as you can see, I I replaced this sensor um, it was glued in the back so I have to chip it off I remove it and I replace with the new one let's see if my AC works all right there you go I did not do anything I just start the car and as you see this comes on the new sensor is in place and uh, it's blowing very cold yes definitely is blowing very cold air I hope this video will help you with the AC situation like I had uh, thank you very much for liking and subscribing my channel stay tuned I'll be right back with some other helpful videos